<clears throat> for me, it's the bacon interlude and the diet ginger ale for me. You don't want to look like you have pudding on your face. Golly, we don't want pudding, right? And I was like, hold on a second. No, mm -mm. why am I trying to be modest? No, don't be set in your eye boogers. Let me tell you, one time somebody was like, slow down on the coffee before you film. Mind it, mind it, because it's five o'clock. Anybody drinking no coffee at five o'clock? I mean, I could, but I didn't today. What up, baby? It's your girl, Manadavia, and in this video, we are getting ready. We are starting this off a little bit differently. We are, are in front of the window. It is early evening time. Really casual, still need to put on my wig. Let's do that together. If you're not already subscribed, do it, because you're gonna miss out. You feel what I'm saying? This is the wig that y'all always love, and I can't lie. I just be like, what is it about it that y'all love? I mean, I like it too, but y'all be losing it about the wig, though. I curled it. I've used this wig several times. It is a body wave wig that I curl when the curls are tightly newly curled it looks a certain way like right now you'll see when the curls have fallen then it be looking a certain way so I get it it looks bomb right I freshly curled it it's a four by four I'm gonna link it below it ain't gonna look like this because you need to curl it and how did I curl it just with the t3 micro curling iron I didn't do anything special to it now I'm gonna just use my fingers to fix it up although ooh, that looks so good these are fresh curls it's going to fall but let's just do a finger comb. Ooh, doesn't that look so good? Someone told me that they ordered the hair and when it came, it looked nothing like this. I don't know if it was the curls that she was referring to or the quality of the hair. This is straight from China. I can't make any guarantees. I purchased it myself and I'm pleased. I don't know what they're doing, when they're doing it, but hopefully if you decide to purchase it, you won't have any problems. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out some new products. Obviously it is a very casual type of video. We've got the YouTube fireplace going in the background. I've already gelled my edges with got to be, obviously already showered, fresh face, makeup, skincare, two pimples that are living its best life here on my face. Let me wet my sponges because I forgot to do that. It is the evening time, so I'm not looking for what I would call a high power suffocation type of primerizations and things. So, and, I, and honestly, in a shocking way, at least for me, <laughs> I'm just doing a lot today, as you can see. In a shocking way for me in the evening, it feels a little bit cool. I'm like, what's happening in Houston? Why is it not sweltering hot? I mean, we're in June. I'm expecting to be sweaty in the evening and it hasn't been like that. So I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer because it's good. And again, I'm not looking to be matte, today at least, okay? So here we go, this one's not new. We know that already. Even though I am going out in the evening, it is still sunny outside. So before my makeup, what do I have on? SPF. Doesn't mean that if it's nighttime, you don't need your SPF. I have not used this in a while. This is a Lancome, say it right, Lancome Tante Idol Ultra Wear. By the way, I hate my nails. I just did these quickly, hate them. I forgot that I didn't like this nail. <laughs> I have so many nails and I forgot that I did not like this particular one. I put it on and I have somewhere to go. And now I'm like, what do I have on and why? Like, I hate it. Okay, this is the shade 555C, suede C. So annoyed, but we're committed. I have to wear them. I will likely take these off, if not tomorrow, the day afterward, like what? And normally I like to let my nails settle and get all loose on their own if I like the set. And I haven't, if you've noticed, been changing my nails as much because I've been leaving them on for two weeks or so, or well, sometimes three, you know, just phases. <laughs> but this, this one ain't gonna last that long. No, 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 no. Oh, this is spreading really well. I'm reminded as to why I love this. Do you use this one? Let me know. 555 Swayze. And so, you know, I'm not gonna let her hang around too long because I ain't feeling her. No, 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 no. We're not going to the hand line way too much, just a little bit because we don't want any lines of demarcation and stuff. We also don't want to be looking psychotic. So just as you're making your way around the face and getting to the edges, that's where the leftover product is going to go. You don't want your first 
ounces of the foundation to go around the perimeter of the face because you don't want to look like you have pudding on your face. Golly, we don't want pudding, right? For some reason, my nose, I, I don't know what it is. The foundation doesn't stay on the nose, so I have to go over it. I don't understand what that is. Is it because of the curvature? Is it the curvature? This shade looks so good on a kid. And this looks so buttery. Is it the foundation? Is it the primer? Is it the fact that I shaved my face yesterday? Is it the skincare? Is it genetics? Is it all of the above? I would like to argue that it is honestly and truly all of the above. I have to say, I love skincare if you love my skin. I encourage you to employ a skincare routine. It is muy importante. Make sure you watch my video on beauty sponges so you can make sure that your sponge is not too wet, too dry. You want it to be just right so that it can work. This is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Deep Rich Golden Perfecting Concealer. My lawless one is done and I really love that one. So I'm gonna read up on it. I'm so annoyed. I don't know why I didn't restock on that when I did my most recent Sephora restock because what in the world? I just be forgetting what is going down and what I need. For instance, the Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil that I always use, I'm burning through those. But if there's an affordable brow pencil that you love, I want you to let me know because it's good to have options. It's good to see what else is out there. Let's get this side going a little bit better here. I like to conceal the side of my nose. I don't know if y'all are doing that. I be seeing some video. <laughs> y'all watching are likely not content creators, but I be seeing videos and folks don't be getting the side of the nose to make it straight. Obviously it's your prerogative on how you wanna do that. I like to get that straightness on the side. And if you're learning how to do makeup and let's say you love the way that my highlight looks, you're gonna benefit from getting the side of the nose like this. Okay, so my highlight is not as light as I would like it to be, but it is quite all right. Now I'm gonna use the new NARS Laguna Bronze and Cream. This is the shade Laguna 05. I believe I grabbed the darkest one, yeah. Ooh. This is looking pretty dark and I love the packaging. I love this bronze. I love the mirror on it. This is really cute. Let me know if you've used this. Let me know if you plan on buying it, trying it, and if so, what is your shade and what do you think about it? Taking some, oh, I like that it's, it's not so loose, not so wet, okay? And, huh. Okay, I see the bronziness of it, okay? So it's not a contour where it's giving me a shadow, where it's more neutral. This is certainly a bronzer, warm undertone. So in this case, I am seeing the red. Wow, okay, and it's building up too. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm really liking this. I haven't done a bronzer, meaning warm undertone, red undertone. A lot of times products are called a bronzer, but they're more neutral and muted. And on me, it's more of a contour. This is legit a bronzer, a cream bronzer. I'm seeing the warmth. Wow, lovely. Whoa, okay. And you know I'm gonna put on top of this a contour. <laughs> I am gonna put a contour on top of this because I don't like to just leave the bronzer on my skin. I don't like for the perimeter of my face to be warm. That's not what I like, okay? But you may want to do that for yourself. This does look lovely. The color is good. We're not getting shadow, we're getting bronze, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing that I'm doing around the face on the nose. The bronzer first, and then I will go over with the powder, all right? And just taking this flat-sided brush to do that. You know, for a while, I wasn't doing the nose. What was I not doing? I wasn't doing the cream on the nose. I wanted a more subtle contour on the nose. And then I realized that something was missing. I was like, hold on a second, no. Mm -mm. Why am I trying to be modest? No! Sip of the nose to bring it all together. Not the forehead looking like a horizon. So there is the bronzer. My nose is looking a little crooked! We're gonna fix it with the highlights, don't worry. Okay, we are gonna blend this. This is looking very beautiful. I am enjoying this. Going to put this inside my situation because I am going to repeat that. Love to see it. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot that I did also have some new stuff from Patrick's store. Slow down. I just wanna get to know you.
Mm. I love when a song comes into my spirit. What do you think? How, how do you feel? Do you ever get a song deep down in your spirit? I do. This is the One Size Patrick Star Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. Pay no mind, surf, and chocolate covered, honey. And look at my nails. I hate them. Ooh, I feel like I can use this on my eyes too. Let's venture in. Elf camo. We gonna set the under eye and then we gonna do the contour. Yes. Okay, so back of the beauty sponge, right in between the highlight and the bronzer to make sure that there are what? No harsh lines of demarcation. Same up here at the top, right between the concealer and the bronzer. No need to go anywhere else. I'm wiping on the paper towel in front of me. Remember that always needs to be there, at least for me. That's just how I learned and that's just what I like to do. So boom, do you see that? No lines of demarcation. Maybe we still see the concealer, we still see the bronzer, but it ain't gonna look stark. That ain't what we want. That ain't what we want. You know, it's the remix for me. Ah, hey, no, 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 no. There's really, yeah, 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 yeah. When you say no, 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 no. But when it's really, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the Elf Camo Powder Foundation Tan 450 and High. Tapping to make sure that there are no lines make this face because it's important oh no i have an eye booger we have to get the eye booger out abort abort get the eye boogers don't be set in your eye boogers yo i used to be so annoyed when i used to take clients <laughs> and i'm doing their concealer it's like yo can you get your eye boogers out <laughs> setting you know, <laughs> and here we are. If you've seen the video where I first used these, you know how much I love these. And I love that it gives added coverage. It also adds added color. It just looks beautiful, buttery amazingness. And it's not like I'm using a boatload of it. It's really a little, but I'm pressing intently to make sure that I'm getting all the areas, especially the sides of the nose, baby. And everywhere else that we highlighted, we're going to go over. We're gonna get the forehead, here we go. Uh -huh. Down the middle, I don't know, uh, whatever. We are gonna emphasize that up a little bit cause it's not doing enough for the kid right now, but it will be in a minute. Okay, now we do the face situation with Patrick, okay? So let's see what Patrick talking about. This is Sephora 59. That was a Sigma brush. I'm gonna link it below. I'm gonna link all of this stuff below, okay? Praise God. This looks like it's my skin, but let's try it anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add an angle, go at an angle, you know? And then I'm just trying to see. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is actually bronzing me. This is adding, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I can see it, oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, one time somebody was like, slow down on the coffee before you film. Mind it, mind it, because it's five o'clock. Anybody drinking no coffee at five o'clock? I mean, I could, but I didn't today. It ain't coffee. It's just energy. It's Vim. It's me. Don't get upset. Yo, this looks really, really good. Oh, here I am thinking that I was going to need to go to the very bottom. This in fact is the color serve in the middle. I did not have to go to chocolate covered, but I do want to put, this looks beautiful. This is definitely giving bronze, but it's a little bit darker than the NARS. So it has amplified the NARS one. So before what, what it really was, was the intensity of the NARS based on the color wasn't as intense but it's great if you don't want an intense bronzer. But I like it to be intense, okay? I mean, the deepness of the shade. So adding this on top gave me the intensity. So although this is still bronze, I'm loving it because it's more intense. Understand that? If that makes sense to you, I want you to comment and let me know. Yeah. Let me powder my face and then do the nose with that same color. So to powder my face, we're gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in the color Rich 610. See. This is a complex culture brush. Y'all always want to know. It's big and fluffy. It needs to be cleaned. Okay. But I don't want using it. So that's for me to worry about. You know what I mean? Like, that's my problem. Not your problem at all. Looks so good to finish everything off. If you've seen my video on how I use face powders, then you already know why I just did what I just did. If you don't already know, then you need to watch that video after this one. But slow down, make sure you finish this video first because we are gonna be discussing, if we haven't already, very important topics, okay? Just an angled 
fluff brush like this will suffice. I like to start at the top of the this area, <laughs> meeting the brow. Wow, this color is really good. You know, Hima Bonsu did a good video on how she contours her nose, and she was using subtle colors like this, which are really, really great because you don't always need to make the contour so dark. This right here is an example of a way to use a contour color. This is a bronzer palette, but you get what I'm saying? Like they're interchangeable sometimes, but this is a way to do that where it's really subtle. Do you see? It's not so, so harsh. I like the way this looks. Wow, I can use this whole trio on my eyes too, which like I said, we are going to do. Okay, next is bronze, excuse me. I almost said bronzer again. It's bronze, but it's highlight. Okay, we're gonna do Rare Beauty. <laughs> I'm going to dinner, I can't do this right now. This is like too much talking, too many demonstrations. Hi. Flaunt is the color you already know. This is running out. Taking the tip of the sponge, wiping a bit of the product off, okay? But the dampness of it does help and just getting right up here. I know that for many of you, it is horrific to even imagine putting a liquid onto an already powdered face, but I've been doing this for so long, this whole liquid highlighter thing, and I love it. I live by it. Now, I do have a cream blush palette from Sephora that I've been hesitant on using, and I don't even know if I wanna use it today. <laughs> Cause now I'm thinking about y'all when y'all are nervous to put a cream onto a powder. It's got some really beautiful colors up in here. I don't know. If I'm ready to venture. And I say this as I am venturing into it, you know? Let's see, which color should I use? I wanna go here, but then I wanna go here. What if I do both of these? Let's try it out. I am going a little bit lightly because I'm nervous. Starting in the apple of my cheek. Oh, do you see that? I see something. It's looking beautiful and, oh, it's bronzy. Ooh! Okay, we gotta slow down. I'm taking far too much for a product that is bronze. Okay, let's let's reel this back in a second. It does look really good. I just could not see it so well on this side that I may have overdone it. <laughs> it is gorgeous though. Ooh, can you imagine this on a beach vacation? Look at that. It really is working well with the, the already highlighted cheek, but I want it to be more I want more color. So let me take this. Is this one gonna be shimmery? I hope it's matte. Cause I don't need any more shimmer. Now I need color. Ooh, that, that's looking pretty. Look at the fire, fire. Ooh. Okay, so so for my collection, I see what you doing and stuff. Okay, I've been sleeping on this. Hold on. Yo, it's the rosiness for me. Wow, uh, I did a lot on my cheeks today. <laughs> The problem that I'm seeing right now is that I did a bronzer and <laughs> it's giving a lot of warmth on my face where I do right now feel like I need to bring shadows. Okay, this is what I was using or what I do use as a contour. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Powder Foundation. The color is Rich 660N Neutral Shadow, okay? Same Sephora 59 brush. And we're gonna take this more toward the hairline in order to help give a shadow to the face and tame down all of the red warmth but you might like this, and if you do, keep it that way. But right now, that's not what I'm going for for dinner. <laughs> let me leave it, let me let me stop, because it is so dewy and beautiful right here. Wow, do you see that? I love that. So I am going to do this first and then go with this one, and I'll play with these two as well. Alrighty, so back to this trio palette. I'm gonna go with, let's see, let's go with the top one first and put that in the crease. Now, you know, normally I would put down an eyeshadow base, but when I do these quick looks, I don't always, and I don't feel like getting up to go get something, so we're gonna just throw it on, okay? Besides, it's evening. I'll have this makeup on for, what, four or five hours? And we're gonna come home and wash it off. So right here in the crease is this warmer color, very beautiful. Great way to tie in the bronzer to your face look. And really, I could put this all over my eye and it would look gorge too. Now the second one in the middle, which is what I used to bronze, put that secondly into the crease and see how it's building it up. Now, why wouldn't I go right into the second one? Well, I like a gradient. So I like to build 
build up my eyeshadow looks. If you have some time, build up your eyeshadow colors. If you don't have time, just slap the color all over your eyelid and it should be okay if you blend it really well. And then feathering it out into the brow bone, as you can see, is really important, very lightly. My face feels so creamy today in the best way. And then now on my whole entire eyelid, I'm gonna take the darker color. Always tap off the excess. This feels creamy though, but still just in case. Ooh, now this is looking really, really dark and patchy. So it was looking patchy because of the brush I was using. With this flat, fluffy brush, I'll get a more even application, okay? That's where the brushes come into play. The shapes of them help you when you're applying certain products and certain things. This is looking very dark, almost black. Wow, good thing I did not put this on my face. It would have been way too dark for me. Do you see? On my face as a contour, this would have been insanely dark. All right, the sun's going down out here in these streets, okay? So lighting is looking a little strange. We are just about done. This is my first time using the Tarte Lights, Camera, Lashes Mascara. If you've used it, let me know what you feel about it. And let's take a look, because you know what I've been doing, if you follow me on Instagram, is I've been taking mascaras that I'm not too crazy about for my top lashes. I like this a little bit, yeah, I like it. I've been using them for my hairline, baby, when I do my pullback looks. If you know, you know, watch the reel, okay? You need to be following me on IG if you're not already. This looks good, all right. It's cute, it's not phenomenal, but it'll do. You know, I like to use something different on the top than the bottom, so we're still gonna do all well this one and done. Okay, KK, okay, okay. as you saw, I was using the new, well, they're new to me. I think they are new too, because Jackie posted a sponsorship and I was like, oh, I need those. The Valentino lipsticks, they're very creamy, very creamy, very hydrating. And they're all called nudes. And I did a video where I did my, talk about my Sephora haul. And I, there's, there's no name on these. There's no number. There's no way to see what is what. So they're all Valentino matte lipstick, but you saw the dark one. You saw the pinky undertoned one. And I think that these are gorgeous. So I want you to comment and let me know if you love this look. It looks very similar to what I normally be doing. The eye is more gray, more neutral. I've been doing this daily look where the brown is more warm in my bathroom with that old palette, but I like how this look came out. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it. All links are gonna be below. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll link two videos here for you to choose from to watch so you don't have to go too far. And I'll see you in the next video. Glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Bye.